Hey, this is Liz. I'm a certified computer repair technician. And today we're discussing how to fix blue screen error, IRQL, not less or equal. If you find this video in any way helpful, please like and share. First thing I would do it, it, for troubleshooting method is I would remove any sort of hardware I may have added. If you've added RAM or a hard drive, solid state drive, try removing them, restarting the computer, see if it remedies. Next thing, I would turn off the computer and remove any sort of USBs or CDs or anything your com computer could be accidentally trying to boot off of. Also, if you find this video in any way helpful, please like and share. Next step, make sure your computer is unplugged and your battery is not installed. And we're going to look for an easy access panel on the bottom of your computer to find your RAM. Uh, you can always look up a disassembly video for your model if you can't seem to find one or if yours doesn't have one. I'm going to get this open and I'm going to check on my RAM because this blue screen error can be a hardware or software issue. So first, we're going to test your RAM. We're going to take one stick out at a time, like so. Now try turning on your Toshiba and seeing if the blue screen error goes around go, goes off. If you still have it, we're going to try the other stick of RAM. By the process of elimination, we're going to see if one of your RAM sticks is bad and is causing this error because RAM is a big, huge leading cause for this error. So try the other RAM stick. And once again, turn your computer on because RAM is kind of like a headlight on a car. It tends to be that one RAM stick goes and not the other. If you try this method with both RAM sticks and you continue to have the error, we're going to move on to the next step in the troubleshooting method. It's not your RAM. But before we move on to the next step, if you find it goes away, wow, one sticks out and then the problem's gone, then you know you have a bad RAM stick. You need to order another one. Uh, this is what your RAM stick looks like. You'll need to order um, a RAM and whatever gigabytes you need. And that is the number that you need, PC4, 2400, or something similar sounding to that because that is a part number. Next, we're going to hit power and hold down F8. Uh, maybe give a couple taps if you need to, and we're going to enter the recovery manager. Uh, wait, so we're going to go over the software solutions to this problem now. Because, I'm, like I said, it can be a software or a hardware issue. So we tried the RAM. It wasn't the RAM. And now we're going to try a, uh, a software approach by factory resetting. Which I know is sad, you lose your data, but try to save a computer here, and this is honestly one of the, the next steps. So, once you get to this screen, hit troubleshoot, reset this PC, and we're going to do the remove everything. You could try the keep my files option, it does occasionally work, so you got to always try that first. Uh, but if it doesn't work, remove everything is really the, the more likely fix. So now that we're going to reach this screen, it's going to ask you again to make sure that you really want to delete everything. Now, as a shout out, if you try fully clean the drive, that's what we're going to hit. And it just won't do it or it continues not to work. Like say it crashes halfway through the reset or you find that it still has a blue screen error. It might be that you just need a fresh install of Windows. Unfortunately, sometimes the operating system gets to the point where it's so corrupt, it just needs a fresh install. We have a video down below that shows you how to do that. Install a hard drive and do the fresh ins install. You can skip the portion on hard drive installation. Now, finally, if all these things don't work, like resetting or installing a fresh operating system. Uh, you try both and it just doesn't work. It could be, we saved as the last thing, it could be that your hard drive is dying. Uh, and by the process of elimination, we figured out that that's the last option. You might want to try installing a new one. I know not what you want to hear, um, but one thing is whenever you are replacing these kind of components, you could view it as an opportunity to upgrade to a uh, solid state drive or a larger hard drive. But anyway, that would be the last step in the troubleshooting method. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos or you're an egghead like us, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and one of our certified repair technicians will get back to you. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.